hi guys you're so welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be about mm, it could just be not just for married people people in a relationship but it is mainly for the married folks so let's jump right in into the first tip number one tip that you have to do you know most times you get married or you're in a relationship you are in those kind of honeymoon stages that oh i miss each other i cannot do without you you are the air that i breathe you are my sugar in my honey you are my you are my honey pot you know all those type of things and you tend to you tend to think that it's go it is going to be like that forever without putting in any work See, marriage is hard work the way you put in effort at your workplace you also need to put in effort in your marriages so first tip that I'm going to give you to keep your marriage spicy and it's almost it will always seem as if oh, you guys we got, you, got, you guys got married yesterday and not knowing that maybe you guys are five years down the line ten years down the line but you still have that fire and that spark in your marriage you still feel like mm, yes i made the best decision so the first things first is as married couple your foundation first off is god see i'm not trying to preach but I, i'm preaching you have to have god as your foundation you have to pray together you have to you have to have god in your closet you have to have god as your as your as your shield marriage is hard marriage is hard and there are some things that there are some things that nothing can solve except prayers there are some things that nothing can solve except god you need the fear of god in so many things in your life you need to, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a as a as a as a married person if you don't have god in your closet go back to the drawing board go back to the drawing board and re-strategize and come back and you see the changes i are going to have so second tip that we are having for this is you know most times you end up you know most times you end up like ah we are married we are now used to each other you now start seeing each other as your roommates that is error 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 you need intimacy in your mar in your marriage you need to keep that intimacy alive you need to keep that intimacy don't underestimate that intimacy you need to keep intimacy alive you need to keep your sex life alive you know when you have kids it is more difficult it is more like it's more taxing that is when you have to now be intentional about it that is when you have to be really really intentional about about having each other close to you tease each other tease each other touch each other you know when you are, when you are when that that first stage of uh, honeymoon that first stage of marriage you are mm, i can't do it without you you can't get your hands off each other one year pass you are enjoying the honeymoon stage <laughs> few years down the line if you don't put effort you just might start seeing your partner as your roommate and that is terrible because marriage is a long time and you need intimacy you need your sex life intact you need most times you're back from work you're tired that is where teasing each other comes in you have to tease each other it's not just you it's not just like you have to it's you have to teach other at every stance at every at every point like if yeah if yeah it could be like ah babe i'm hungry oh. and you could just reply ah baby i'm hungry see for me for you see, yeah yeah see you're hungry can you say you're hungry those kind of things tease your guy tease your woman tease each other touch each other talk dirty you're not dirty you're married you are married so you have the license to do whatever you want to do with your partner so these three T's, T's, what again, touch, what again, talk dirty with each other. That is one of the ways to keep your sex life alive. That is one of the ways to, you have to be really intentional. Sometimes they're not feeling it, sometimes they're just tired. That is okay. But don't end up seeing your partner as your roommate or as your friend. 
yes my partner is my friend but you are also my lover so have your lover and your husband all in one and everything is bubbly and fine third tip that we are having is laugh more laugh more than you fight laugh more i cannot overemphasize see you know siblings fight siblings fight and most times they fight but they still love each other like kilo they have that kind of love as much as you are fighting each other you are loving each other forgive your partner easily this forgive your partner easily me i'm still talking to myself about that one because <laughs> you know women get their attitude sure. but see as much as you're fighting each other you are laughing out loud you are laughing your heart out you are gisting with your 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 you know some your your partner can be your lover your friend your husband father have all those in one package you don't need to have your best friend your partner should be your best friend so you have to have all those in one package see see you, you marry the full package you have to make that effort make that effort it is hard especially when it is when you guys are now um, with each other for a long time and it is hard that is where that intentionality is there anything like intentionality that is where you have to now be intentional with each other what else do i have to tell you guys find something find no that is number number four or number eight you shall count it shall but number four tip is find something that you both cannot do without each other it could be food as much as then another thing that you also must not do without each other is pray you guys have to pray together that is the first point that i mentioned but in this point that i'm mentioning now it could be food it could be movies it could be watching a favorite show it could be anything or just find something that two of you cannot do without each other even if you yes except except the guy travel except your husband traveled or your wife traveled that is when it is excusable but if he's in town if he's around find something that two of you cannot do without each other if it's food you wait for him to come back say my husband we cannot eat without each other if it's when he comes back what of us eat together it helps it helps on the intimacy as much as the sex life is there it has to be there the intimacy also has to be there then what enjoy each other's company enjoy each other's company guys this is someone that you're spending the rest of your life with so you have to be intentional at some point it gets it feels like something that at maybe it, it, um at some point it, it comes easily to you yeah, it could be something if it does if it doesn't come easily to you try and put in the effort after some time if you keep doing something it becomes a habit so you have to enjoy each other's company enjoy their company it's not like ah, oh, he comes back to work babe how was your how was your day it was fine will you eat have you eaten something okay and that is it no 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 we are living together forever so make that worthwhile make it a journey to remember make it a memorable journey make it something that if i'm not ready to do this you don't get married don't get married because you have to be you are either in it or you are in it you don't have choice you are either in it or you're in it so you don't have any excuse enjoy each other's company and as much as you're enjoying each other's company you also have to give each other space respect their spaces when they need you, you know when someone needs their space most times those space that 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 that's your you time me time it is a self therapy that you cannot you cannot underestimate it is just try it respect each other's space know when your partner just needs to be just them and just process and meditate respect it now, if you say that you want to get married if you say that you're married you are you just have to be married you have to put in that effort you know the way you always at work you are fighting you are struggling to work and you are struggling to get a promotion you are putting in the effort you're putting in the work try as hard try to wipe as hard in your marriage for it to work because when children start coming it becomes more difficult and marriage is forever except if people decide to divorce but nobody goes into marriage saying that they will divorce nobody nobody goes into it saying that but see 
put in that work put in that work it is 100 100 not 50 50 not 99 99 over 100 it is 100 100 put in that work and you will see the fruits of your labor you even see like you'll be like ah marriage is good though why did i get married sis <laughs> <laughs> what else do i have to also say be their biggest cheerleader be their be their biggest fan be support your partner in anything that he or she wants to do support your partner support them for their growth in almost times you get married especially for women you women tend to sacrifice a lot of things try and find out what your wife or your try and find out what the wife wants to do or loves doing support your partner a happy marriage happy children support your marriage support support your partner be their biggest cheerleader be their biggest supporter be their put in that effort put in that effort see you know sometimes you are married you get married to someone let me let get married to someone and after some time and see finish enter mm. after some time be like mm, i don't see you finish what do you mean see avoid see finish respect your partner you have to be you have to respect your partner let, let it not be let it not be like uh, mm, i beg bemeka mm, bachima respect your partner respect your wife love your wife respect your husband appreciate your husband be intentional listen you have to try you have to most of most most times the basic the basic require um, things that people need is for you to be able to listen to them listen to them and find out what they need not one need it could be it could be when you listen to your partner you find out okay you know when the, your partner is not happy you are there for her you are there for him try and be attentive try and respect try and be attentive try and be intentional see let me tell you why i am big on this intentionality because sometimes it gets a point where like mm, i don't marry now so make i just say let me just leave myself try and be intentional try and be sensitive try and especially both genders try try and be it try and be intentional with try and be sensitive when your wife you feel like your wife is tired you can just say ah babe you've tried come let's go and eat outside or oh, babe you've tried come let me give you foot massage or come let me give you a massage all those kind of sweet gestures sweet gestures try and just don't stop on those like okay because you are married there because you know most times um some couples or it be it the wife or the husband they are nice to people outside but in their house they are like mm, they are not nice see try and give nice gestures to your wife to your husband if you see that ah, this is your boxer that you're wearing you know, she's already tearing let me buy another one those are you don't you don't even need to spend too much to like gift your partner for someone that you love you you, you you don't need to spend too much to make them happy just little little things here and there it makes them know it makes them feel like you're listening it makes them feel like wow like wow you swept me off my feet find out try and find out what they like or try and find out what they need if those are little little gestures that builds up a river those are little little gestures that you just need to keep on keep on at it yeah, and also it shows it shows they show the partner that they're really intentional about me and the love still keeps growing it so it's no longer like mm, those honeymoon stage kind of love see the love in marriages it's graduate you know the way you're married it has a marriage the love is like okay i love you we love you we got married and that marriage is like that love is like stage one kind of love the love you have in marriages it graduates the love tends to be what what there's this food that the next day is always sweeter mm, which food jello fries you make jello fries or stew stew is always sweeter the next day or stew is always as the longer it stays the sweeter it becomes you know like that kind of uh, thing so the longer um the love in the marriage keeps up they see that that one that you had when you got married that one was just small one that it it, it graduates and it keeps on and it radiates in all that you do you see yourself having having so many um blessings from god having 
marriage is a blessing and God said that two people should come together and become one. So that is the task that God has given to us. That is the mandate that God has given to us to let two becomes one and everything is and he blesses you he unleashes his blessing upon you everything you are striving in all that you're doing and people are wondering like what is this person doing it is god i'm not a marriage counselor i'm not a uh, but i'm just giving you a few nobody really nobody really <laughs> that's my daughter <laughs> <laughs> Nobody really knows it all, but you can always share your little, little experiences. So that is it for this video. I'm going to be stopping here. Feel free to drop in your own points that you have. You never know. Someone might just learn one or two from your points. And I just might pick up one or two and implement as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Share. Comment. Just show your girls some love. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>